violence in Gaza crisis tonight, simply put, it's war. Air raid sirens going off in cities across the country, whether it's special events like this wedding or just a day on a Tel Aviv beach, people fleeing from abroad in Gaza. Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system seeing a lot of action into the night there. Israeli authorities saying militants have sent more than 130 rockets their way. Meantime, Israel's Operation Protective Edge, so-called, is in full swing. Officials saying about 150 terror sites in Gaza have been hit. Late today, Israeli armed forces put this video online. They say these are Hamas fighters coming ashore, said to be armed with caution pots and grenades. A short time later, Israeli troops, air and naval forces, open up on them, killing all five, according to the Israeli Defense Force. And from Jerusalem, where that another 40,000 reserve troops may be getting the call to action. One Israeli official telling CNN possible ground maneuvers, presumably into Gaza, may become necessary. An echo, perhaps a louder echo, of what happened there and what we witnessed firsthand back in November 2012. And members of one family, also two media centers. Uh, the It's not like it was when you were here and I were here in 2012. Israel's approach seems to be much more targeted. For instance, uh, today, this evening, what we've seen is specific targeting of leaders of Islamic Jihad and Hamas's uh, military wing strikes in the south, the central, and northern part of Gaza. Uh, so they seem to be much more focused than they were before. Uh, in addition to hitting those leaders when they were out and about, they've also been striking at their homes uh, as well. We were at one house in Han Yunus where uh, this is a family affiliated with Hamas. Uh, we saw that seven people were killed there, including two children, when apparently uh, the head, the woman who heads the household uh, there got a phone call from a man called David, uh, speaking Hebrew, telling her to leave the house immediately. However, what happened is that people from the neighborhood clustered around the house, gathered around the house as human shields, so to speak, and then the Israelis struck uh, killing seven. But as I said, the real focus seems to be not on sort of large targets, but rather individuals. The, the, the Israeli cabinet announced that the military to call the grenades 40,000 reservists. The military is saying, though, that a ground attack, while possible, is not imminent. Is that correct? Yes. And first of all, it takes a long time to mobilize those 40,000 men to get them down around Gaza with the right ammunition and hardware for a ground operation. I was in Gaza in 2009, January, uh, when there was a ground incursion. It's a big operation. It's a, there's a lot of challenges because it's one thing uh, to do airstrikes, but when you send men inside Gaza, some of these alleyways and refugee camps, uh, there's a high probability of, A, many casualties among Israeli forces, and of course among the Palestinians themselves, who, unlike the Israelis, don't have bomb shelters or protected rooms. So there is some hesitation among Israeli military leaders to sort of take that step at this point, despite the fact that the government did authorize the call-up necessary for 40,000 men. Ben, I really appreciate the reporting. Uh, be careful for you and your team. There is a lot more of this coverage tonight. Susan Hendricks is at 360 bullets, Susan. Anderson, a powerful typhoon is churning toward mainland Japan.